Sid Nev, who is yet to win a Masters Championship, and Pixel Andy, who has won several. Let's get it started. Three, two, one, Tetris. Yeah, Sid Nev would love to win CTM Masters Victory number one. Of course, Sid Nev with the ceremonial one pushdown point, as is tradition. Ninja of Ninja says, all I want for Christmas is for Vandy to commentate one of my Tetris matches. My bucket list of commentators is down to three. Vandy, James Chen, and Kingsman. Kingsman, I think we have to make this happen for the creator of December to Remember. Let's let's make this happen, Kingsman. Let's you and me do a death match or invite me to, I, can you invite me to friendlies or something? Take me to, take me to friendlies. If I can get a fribble. 72,000 here for Pixel Andy. 91,000 for Sidnav. Pixel Andy, of course, our uh, CTWC runner up in 2020, our runner up in the CTM Masters or CTM Lone Star 2023, which happened just, uh, you know, six weeks ago. runner-up to his brother dog playing Tetris in both of those but of course a CTM Masters event winner multiple times Pixel Andy Sidnev gunning for CTM Masters victory number one right now has finished in the semis I'm sorry in the finals five times And of course, you know, it was 0-5 in those finals. So looking to sort of break the streak here, Sidnev. And, you know, truly one of the best players in the world. This is like uh, those of you who are American football fans or know about it. The Buffalo Bills in the early 90s made it to four consecutive Super Bowls. Well, you know, lost every single one. Well, that doesn't mean they're a bad team. It means they're probably the best team of the era. But, you know, the results of an individual game between two close competitors can go either way. And so you're going to have statistical, you know, blips that happen where great players against other great players just have streaks. And that's what has happened for Sidnev. But I think, you know, Sidnev will take home one of these events one of these days obviously i can't i can't say today nobody knows what happens on any given day but you know assuming sidnev keeps playing there's no reason in the world that sidnev wouldn't win one of these 329 right now sidnev 308 pixel andy All right, Ninja of Ninjas, if you alert me, whatever, I will restream an event that you're in. I will do it. 398 for Sidnev, 376 Pixel Andy. Is very high up on the ELO rankings. There's a ranking system for Classic Tetris overall. And uh, Classic Tetris monthly results are part of that. And that system has been going on for, what, about four years? And right now maintained by a team of volunteers and Pumpy Heart. I think is the main, still the main ELO person, right? So really, you know, Classic Tetris getting more and more um, formalized, more and more resources and uh, tracking, 
moving, you know, uh, hopefully out of spreadsheets, you know, in the next 12 months and into actual websites that are accessible by fans and who knows, maybe the media, right? You laugh, but I don't know. I still think that there is a possibility that you know, there, we still get wider interest in this sport and that it maybe gets reported on as a, as a you know, as an e-sport that people care about in a wide audience. 589 here for Sidnev. We're just a few lines away from the level 19 transition in game one between these two great players. Yeah, we do need a classic Tetris news network. 635 here for Sidnev. 614 on the transition for Pixel Andy. So big, big transitions from these two players. Tetris Sidnev up by 20,000 points. Similar line count. So it must have been a pretty good piece sequence to start with. And both players' boards climbing a little bit here. Sidnev trying to burn all this away. Does get to Tetris, bringing that board back down just a little bit. Andy, his board a little bit messy here. Oh, look at this. All right, beautiful sequence here from Andy. Oh, these players always find panic-free ways to get out of these situations where I would have just completely died Tetris, Sidnev, 774, 711, Pixel Andy. Sidnev getting set up again, gets the Tetris, 803, 739, Pixel Andy. And there's a Tetris. So very similar line counts and about a 40,000 point difference. Right, there we go. We're, we're, we're tucking, we're building, we're scrambling, and there we go. Long bar over for Sidnev 864. There's one for Pixel Andy. Sidnev still a little bit in burning mode here. Maybe this will allow Pixel Andy back in it a little bit. Just waiting on that bar, both of them. And there's the bar for both and a Tetris for each. Eight sixty seven pixel landy nine ten for Sidnev and what I think is going to be you know necessary for classic Tetris to sort of get to the next level is yes the statistical resources the reporting on it people think like oh well you only start reporting it people only start reporting on it when people get interested but honestly. Just having the reporting on it, having those statistical resources available makes people involved and interested in it because now that there's a whole world of things that they can get you know, involved in, if you like statistics. Oh yeah, they have that. Let me look, I'm curious, let me take a look. So I think you have to, this is, you know, you gotta have sort of those things in place and not just wait till like there's a big groundswell of universal interest. You have those things there that creates interest max out here for sidnev and for pixel andy tetris for both two lines away from the level 29 transition andy up by a few thousand points and now we are into 29 andy with the 1.1 that left side for sidnev needs to bring it down gets a long bar over Sidnev, I mean, at Pixel Andy trying to build on this lead, but the board is climbing and getting a little more tricky to deal with. Getting these tucks in at 29 is no mean feat. Sidnev actually set up for a center rail Tetris and gets it B34 right on Pixel Andy's heels. Pixel Andy still trying to bring this stack down and make it accessible and workable. And it looks like the board is coming down. I'm not going to mess with the line spin set up there, although I love to see it. Uh, Sidnev trying to set up maybe a column three Tetris well. Just going to take that triple B97 in the lead. Andy scrambling a bit here. Going to miss with that Z piece. 
or S piece. And now is scrambling. Oh, gets that J, I mean, that L over to the left, but I don't know how much more you can get over. And Pixel Andy will top out here in game one. Sidnap is ahead and will take the game one victory. GG's. <laughs> Barrett says, of course, Bandy saw the line spin set up. Yeah, I did. I mean, I can't not see the line spin set up, and I always want it to happen, but don't do it. Uh, C69421 for Sidnev. So you can see that one pushdown point coming into play in the scoring of this match. All right, both players ready. Let's get them underway. Sidnev up one game to none over Pixel Andy. 3 to 1. Tetris. Sidnev sporting the CTWC DAS shirt. Of course, the CTWC has a, a tournament, an affiliated tournament in Europe called CTWC DAS, where DAS is played, right? Sort of the original OG play style, press and hold the D-pad. And that style still has its... Uh, Fans, aficionados, practitioners, and all that, and I'm one of them. Uh, mostly because I'm too inept to tap or roll, but actually I haven't really even tried rolling. But I'm not sure that I could do it. I think my fingers are too chunky. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know, man. I gotta lose some finger weight. friction between these fingers, you know? My word. <laughs> so burning. Yeah, I need more aerodynamic fingers. All right, so Sidnev actually setting up a spin tuck there with the T. We'll see if... Uh, yeah, that... Okay, got it. Tetris Pixel Andy 122. K9 watching Tetris has gifted a six month tier one sub to Doge Nestris. Thank you so much for gifting six months of tier one to Doge. And that's a good reminder to you viewers on Twitch. It is September, And I believe that subscriptions of various uh, durations are, uh, I mean, sorry, are discounted so September is a great time to load up on your CTM twitch channel subscription so that helps us out a lot some you know gives us some revenue makes this thing you know <laughs> it's not it's not profitable but at least uh, takes this thing off uh, some of the operations that we have to pay for here so 188 for Sidnev, 270 for Pixelandy. Tetris for Andy, 315. Sidnev, 214. Dirty Tetris for Sidnev, 237. That was, uh, I don't know, five or six rows off the bottom. Maybe seven. Start to kind of blur together after that many. 362 for Pixelandi, 264 for Sidnev. Human perception limited, right? So after a certain number of perceptual units, see, they start to just go from like, okay, I can count them to okay, there's a bunch of them and I don't know how many there are. 384 from Pixelandi. 288 Sidnev already set up for another one. Andy, you gotta get that dirty Tetris. Is that column six? That was column six. And the canine watching Tetris has gifted three months to Galaxy Biscuit. Thanks again, canine watching Tetris. Single handedly saving Tetris. But yeah, this is a great time to subscribe. You're a, uh, you know, you're a 
paying subscriber. You can do so at a discounted rate. Lock in your CTM emotes, some of the best emotes on Twitch, in my opinion. You know, they're very visible, they're very bold, they unmistakable what they mean. I'm like so many, you know, so I, I'm not gonna take anyone to task. I don't wanna derogate, denigrate, whatever, what, what other people are doing on Twitch. But sometimes, you know, people have these um, emotes on Twitch and they're just like, I, I have to squint or I don't know what the actual emote means. But I think our emotes, thanks to Hydrant Dude, um, unmistakable what they mean, very visible and very funny. So um, if you want, some great emotes, emotes to use on the rest of Twitch. Get them. You know, and this is a great time. September. 528 for Pixelandy. 411 for Sidnev. Sidnev with a Tetris. We are approaching the level 19 transition. Andy back by a few lines. Didn't have one away, but ends up having to make some gaps here. So we'll transition to 19 a little bit uh, awkwardly, as most of us do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, Pixel Andy with a 600K transition. Tetris, Sidnev, 559, Pixelandi, 656. Dog playing Tetris, waiting in the wings. After completing the reverse sweep over Alex T in an instant classic. World record setting match there. S uh, Sidnev digging a bit here, just around the bottom of where the next box would be on the vanilla game. No problem for a roller, but you know, you're kind of waste valuable pace here trying to dig out of these, and that's why you try not to have these extended digging sequences. And they can fester, and you can see like, you know, starting to spire a little bit for Sidnev and get dependent with these long bar dependencies. Trying to avoid that situation. But still burning here. 663. Andy in the lead. Up at 758 with a clean board and another Tetris. There's a dirty Tetris, Sidnev. Another Tetris, Sidnev. Now clean. We'll have to clean up with a Tetris. And Tetris Sidnev 767, 857. And, uh, wow. All right, there we go. Another Tetris Sidnev into 27, of course. Sidnev's capture for 27 always looks like 28 to me. Well, that's just a weird capture glitch or something. 889 for Sidnev now into 28 for real. Pixel Andy still on 27, back by about eight lines here. Sidnev uh, setting up column eight Tetris and gets it. We'll see how that will play out when transitioning to 29. There is the 29 transition at 961. We'll see what Sidnev's plan is here. Maybe to stay in that column eight. Pixel Andy will transition into 29 with the max out A22. So just about a 40 some odd thousand point lead for Pixel Andy. Both players, uh, I think, scaling a little bit. Maybe Sidnev kind of waiting out Pixel Andy just to see how Andy does on 29. And you can see not going super aggressive 
Oh, but now finally, yeah, actually setting up for the Tetris for the first time. And that is very spicy for Sidnev. Gets the max out, but this is top out City, and Sidnev will top out at AO3. And Andy is already ahead and has tied it up. A game apiece. GG's. All right, both players ready here. What was once a best of five now? A best of three, Sidnev and Pixel Andy. One to one. Let's go with three to one, Tetris. Great to have so many viewers here. Thanks uh, to those of you who have discovered this through us uh, being in the retro category. I think this counts as retro, right? This is a retro game. I think we're loud in here on Twitch, right? This is classic Tetris monthly been a thing since December 2017 and uh, nearly every single month since October 2018. Corian thing there for Sidnev, 93,000. Seventy three thousand for Andy. And uh, Sidnev in a little bit of trouble, depending up here near the top of the stack. A lot of concentration required. S uh, Andy with a good clean board, and this is a drought for sure. Oh, and Andy going to throw a piece over to the right side just as that long bar was coming. And now Andy in a little bit of a dig. And this is so tough. Andy still digging 88,000 here above where the next box would be on the standard board layout. 138 here for Sidnev has dug back down to the bottom of the screen. Andy stashing pieces left and right, still digging, but bringing order to this chaos. I mean, that square is going to help out a lot. And now, Andy, of course, the more the relaxed body language you can see, feeling comfortable and relieved. And bang, Tetris for Andy, 125 and 163 for Sidnev. So that chewed up a lot of pace potential for these players. I mean, generally, you would like to be in the 300s around this time. Uh, 63, 64 lines for Pixel Andy, but now only barely at 150. And, you know, Sidnev with not great pace right now. So that was definitely an awkward piece sequence. There was a big drought in the middle there. Not sure how many pieces, but it seemed like a lot. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I There was a big while that I didn't see a long bar, or at least a well-timed long bar for either player. Tetris Sidnev 280. And Andy getting up near, oh, a lot of long bars. Andy could have used them if, you know, if he had the foresight to know, <laughs> you know, that they were coming. Could have easily used those to get out of this, but, you know, that's why the <laughs> that's why the game is tricky because you don't know what pieces are going to come out. Unlike, oh, my printer is being actuated for some reason. I think someone's printing Bitcoins on my printer. Why is my printer going? <laughs> um... There you go. So there you go. Bi rogue Bitcoin printers are out there. All right, Andy just going to take this triple, bring this back down. 257, Andy, 349 for Sidnev. Oh, Colin taking credit. Why is my print printer? Come on. What's your story, bro? Like nobody asked you to actuate and just start doing things. I'm getting a fax. I like fax machines. I think they're great. Uh, 
like you can send me a message i don't you know have to respond it's not electronic i got a little piece of paper there i mean it is electronic but it's not i don't read it on a screen and if you're willing to like make the effort to send a fax like you know that person really wants to get in touch with you right because it's not easy or convenient to send a fax right so if you want you want to make sure that someone really need like they only contact you when you re when they really need you and just say i can only be reached by fax <laughs> right and then we'll see who see who really needs to contact you so 501 from sidnev 398 pixel andy and on the whole not a bad transition pace really in the offing for sidnev uh, given the early pace 425 transition for Andy and the game has you know it's actually a reasonable amount of long bars 46 long bars 45 T's 48 Z's that kind of thing I mean no piece is really a lot it's just they're not super well timed uh, one of our players I think has I mean, I'm going to refresh one of our players here There we go. Oh boy. All right, so players just keep on playing. Do not pause. If you can hear me, just keep on playing. And yeah, so the stream has come back and we are all good. That was fine. I don't. I don't think that was on my side. I mean, I didn't drop any frames, and my internet seemed okay. So, Andy actually set up for a Tetris in column seven and gets it five ninety six. And uh, Sidnev is ahead in score and behind in lines. <laughs> I guess Colin making the rounds here, printing up bitcoins at various people's internets. So, there you go. Seven thirty-three Sidnev, six eighty-five Pixel Andy Tetris Sidnev, Pixel Andy Tetris. Corian thing there for Sidnev again. You got that two by two hole, and you, you know, you're gonna fill it in one way with an L or a J. You see the next one, and then you can fill it in a different way. That's the Corian thing. Got a two overhangs instead of putting the two wide in the bottom. Tetris for Sidnev, eight fifty-four. Andy ahead in lines, behind in score by about 61,000. Sidnev with the better pace, the better score in the driving seat. Tetris for Andy, 892. There's one for Sidnev into 27 at 985, one away from the max out. Great placements here from Sidnev to keep this board flat and amenable to a wide range of pieces. Oh, look at that T with the setup for the tuck of the incoming L piece or J piece. J? L. <laughs> you think I'd be able to, I know what the pieces are after six years doing this, but apparently not. Max out here for Pixel Andy. Uh, Sidnev already has one. Andy into 29 with a flat good board. We could have had a Tetris there. Um, but uh, playing flat, scaling a bit. Just kind of singling and doubling, trying to feel out what the other player is doing. Sidnev taking a you know slightly conservative triple there. The last time, you know, last game, Sidnev did try to go a little aggressive and ended up getting burned by the RNG, it gets a long bar over to the left. Super crucial to try to reestablish the stack. And so players scaling a little bit here, kind of playing chicken, daring each other to get aggressive.
a61 for pixel andy and i think the maybe strategy here is to just kind of see what the other player is doing andy going for the tetris and gets it bo6 and sydney going for one as well in the center oh no i'm gonna block that well sydney again going for the tetris trying to get aggressive and tops out at b87 the target for pixel andy is b22 and again, Sidnev getting burned a little bit, trying as soon as, you know, as soon as Sidnev went aggressive, got burned. And now Andy can just single and double this out. So Andy kind of, we'll see how it turns out, but at least in that moment, kind of winning the game of chicken. And can just single and double, has 22 lines to go does not have to be aggressive 15 lines to go until the super kill screen and yeah one more line should do it and that is going to be a victory for pixel andy here in game three ggs to you going for one more tetris to sort of cap it off here just for the victory lap and uh game Gives the bar and the Tetris there to cap it off. Pixel Andy takes a two to one lead. G, Gs. All right, both players ready here in game four. Sidnev needs to win to stay in. Let's go three, two, one, and a Tetris. That's right, contributions to the prize pool, 100% go to the players. CTM takes nothing. There's a small fee that Macharino takes just to administer this great uh, service that is free to us as organizers. And uh, they've been a great partner for us, so thanks so much to Macharino. Otherwise, the contributions to the prize pool go to the players. Vandy gets none of it. Dan Weller gets none of it. Well, unless Dan Weller, you know, gets a prize, which is very seldom. All right, game four is underway. 71,000 for Sidnev. 49,000 pixel Andy. Andy scrambling a little bit toward the bottom of the board. Didn't take that triple, but now he's going to take it. We'll see what Andy's going to do here. I thought, oh, maybe Andy will go for the dirty Tetris and kind of, sort of, but not really. Okay. Andy finally gets the Tetris down the right side. Now is going to go to work on that left side. Oh, I wonder if Andy will go. Yeah, Andy gambling here on the dirty Tetris in the left well. It has room to take a skim with a triple, but the bar not coming. Of course... As soon as you decide you're going to do something spicy, the game rewards you with uh, a drought. And another dirty Tetris potentially here for Pixel Andy. 165 for Sidnev, 114 for Andy. And again, the game spiteful. And Andy going to go for it again and almost, yeah, had the two long bars in the window. Could have set up another one, but just thought wiser of it. Said, you know what? I've tempted fate too many times. I'm going to get burned. Let's, uh, you know, let's get things back right again. Ends up taking a column to Tetris in the hell well. All right, there's another dirty Tetris for Pixel Andy, column uh, seven or eight, something like that. So. Andy channeling his inner Quaid, his flexible well strats all over the place. All right, there's a Tetris down the right side, Pixel Andy, 220, 282. Meanwhile, for Sidnev, uh, 300K through 63 and 328 through 67. So. Sidnev on pace for a 600k level 19 transition. Oh, there's a good adjustment to make room for the long bar to get Tetris ready. Sidnev. 
Yeah, Andy, Andy, interesting stacking this game. It seems different somehow. Playing with a little more uh, verve and confidence. Doing some more interesting things in this game. I think that we no normally see Andy do, of course. Andy very capable of pretty much doing anything he wants. Three twelve for Andy, three ninety seven for Sidnev. Sidnev board climbing a little bit. Gonna end up having to take a, a burn and does take that double down the right side. And taking another one with that J. He's waiting out the bar. And yeah, the game not giving the bar, so it is drought time for Sidnev and Andy. And Andy having to make a gap over on that left side. Thankfully, able to keep that well open. Brings that L back over before covering that well. The long bar was in the window and able to get that Tetris instead of creating more problems. So good adjustment there for Pixel. Andy, 456. Sidnev, 348. For Pixel Andy. Multi-time CTM Masters event winner. Runner-up CTWC 2020. Runner-up in... Lone Star Championship this year, just six weeks ago. Maybe five weeks ago, something like that. Sindes board getting a little spicy up here near the, near the top of the stack. There's some gaps here, trying to uncover them, trying not to create any more. And a long bar here would be very helpful for Sidnev. But uh, gonna end up having to just kind of chop this down bit by bit. Finally does open up that right side. Long bar, timely. Bang, Tetris, Sidnev, and another one. 538 for Sidnev. Andy with the Tetris down the right side. Gonna bring that L back, get the Tetris. 562 for Sidnev, so not a terrible transition score for Sidnev. And 474 for Andy, which is less than ideal. But still in it and still clean, and that's what you that's what you want. Tetris Andy immediately set up for another one and another Tetris. For Andy. Andy, uh, there we go, getting set up with that long bar in the middle of the board. Bang, Tetris, Andy, 573. Sidnev, 690. Level 21, about six pieces or so. Well, two to six pieces uh, or lines ahead. Not pieces. Lines are made up of uh, a certain number of pieces. Two and a half pieces, in fact. There's a dirty Tetris for Pixel Andrew. All right, Tetris Andy, 686. Sidnev out to over 100,000 point lead at 802. Andy here maybe gambling a little bit, but able to keep that well open and get that Tetris. Sidnev able to get that long bar over to the left. You know, knowing that those lines were going to burn, you can say, okay, I can get that long bar over. But I gotta act fast. So it kind of kind of looks not real. It's crazy how quickly that piece gets over. When you're rolling, expert roller like uh, Sidnev and Andy, really. So 885 Sidnev here on 25, 856 for Andy's identical line count. So this is a real score difference. At least for that moment anyway. <laughs> and Andy having to take a couple burns down the right side. Going to fill in that left. All right, left filled out. Nice flat sloping stack for Andy, just like the textbooks say. And Tetris for Andy, 932. Sidnev with the max out here on 27. 
Andy still back, Andy now back by about 120,000 points. Didn't have eight lines ahead in the sequence. Instead of set up in column four, gets that Tetris into 29, column four Tetris. And so we'll see what Sinev's going to do. Sinev's got a lead. Pixel Andy has the max out. And there's another Tetris Sidnev B77. So maybe playing with a little extra determination. Sidnev, you know, kind of went um, a little conservative in the first couple of games here in the levels of 20, uh, first levels of the 29 speed. And then when finally, you know, kind of said, okay, I'm going to start scoring, then got droughted at the exact wrong time. So we'll see what, what these players do to handle this. Okay, that's a great L down the right side for Pixel Andy as he tries to bring this back down. And Andy now able to bring this whole stack down to the bottom. A61, back by about 150,000 points. There's a Tetris for Andy. B02, Sidnev with the 1.2, C23. We'll see what Sidnev's going to do. Has passed on some easy singles, so clearly is going for Tetris's now. Andy going to block the well just as a long bar came. And I would like a long bar now. Ends up having to burn this back down. Dependent board here, but able to bring this down. Actually set up for a Tetris for the moment anyway, but ends up bringing it back down again. Set up for a Tetris and gets it center well. B75, Andy. Uh, Sidnev going to triple here, C68. Andy now is pouring it on, knows that he's kind of running out of time. Just 40 lines to go. Another center well Tetris column for Pixel Andy. C25 back by a 50,000 points. Pixel, I mean, uh, Sidnev going for Tetris, has to burn it down. And Andy going to take that triple just to bring this board back down. But we are 26 lines to go. Sidnev going to tuck that TP, snake it around and get the Tetris, but I'm not sure... What will happen over here? Get that T. D53. Andy needs to go aggro here. Two Tetrises basically behind. Sidnev just scrambling. Really can just get singles from here. I think Sidnev is going to top out at D58. Andy needs to get something here. Gets a Tetris down the middle and takes game four. Uh, and uh, coming from behind, Sidnev and will earn his way into the finals. Pixel Andy in a three to one match victory over Sidnev. GG's to both of these great players. Sidnev, of course, one of the world's best, but uh, sometimes you just run into somebody who does a little bit better in that day, but no doubt Sidnev will be back. And uh, of course, one of the best players in the game today. So GG's to you, Sidnev. Hope to see you back again. It's going to be another matchup back-to-back -back months. It was Dog and Andy, and now it's Dog and Andy again. Another brother. Finals. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal, Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, Hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. Join our Discord server, the largest classic Tetris community online at ctm.gg slash discord. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.